Welcome everyone to Topic Wonders. We just talked about escaping reality, and now we're going into reality. I have your host, Matrix Lord, to and I'm with Ben. What's up, Ben? Hello. What's up, Vaughn? What's up? All right, sorry to bring us back to reality, people, but we need to cover the story. Uh, Toys R Us is prepping to liquidate its U.S. properties. Um operations oh my god the the situation is really bad the, the, they they over five billion in debt oh my god hmm, you ain't see. coming out of that 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 five wait they got a wait a minute they got a 3.1 billion dollar loan but they're not going to be able to handle any of this mm. no way My God. They kind of dug their own grave in a sense. Oh, God. You know what kills me? It's, I didn't know it was that bad. Like, I didn't know, I, you know, millions, yeah, but I didn't know mm -hmm. $5 billion. Jesus. I haven't bought anything at Toys R Us. And yeah, same here. Overpriced. Selection's usually crap. And, mm -hmm. Why go? Why would I go in there and I can go to Amazon and find the exact same thing for half the price? Yeah, that's that's See, actually what killed them was Amazon. Well, you know what they yeah. said? They I didn't wasn't aware of this amount of money, but they're saying that the downfall started when they spent seven point five billion to buy out Bain Capital. With wait, Bain Capital was KB Toys. Yeah. So they bought all these different things like. FAO Schwartz and everything to try to be the main thing. But now, like, I don't understand. We Okay, so we have 800 stores in the USA. Mm -hmm. Toys R Us, Babies R Us. In January, it announced that it's ch it's closing 180 stores, right? Yeah. So now, I mean, they didn't officially announce it yet, but they're leaning Monday. towards the fact Monday, Monday they they're going to they're gonna make an announcement. Monday, that's what I read in one of the articles. Wow. I know, I know the baby R Us that's near us has is store closing. God. His store is closing. Hi, I don't... Sally. Hello. Hey, Sally. Toys are Rust done. Well, you know what, though? I mean, how, right? The price of the Legends, right? Ridiculous. I Action got, figures are $20. A lot of the Legends I've purchased, I've, I got my, well, my Star Lords for like 11 bucks. I you can't. New... They can't compete with Target and Walmart. Target and Walmart, like so cheap. Hell, the new yeah. um, Infinity War Iron Man Legends figure goes for eighteen eighty eight on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Under twenty dollars. In this situation, right? Either you adapt. What's that phrase from that movie? You adapt or you perish. Right. So I mean, it's survival of the fittest, right? So mm -hmm. if you cannot change to fit the times, and update yourself you're done you're done and as much as i want to see you toys r us i to, take, to be perfectly honest i haven't been in a toys r us in ages when you can go um, to gamestop target walmart yeah. amazon gamestop is like carrying more and more toys than ever lately okay they got think geek in the city i mean they, they, it, it's going to be where you don't even need a toys r us anymore yeah. but but get yourself together man i don't like to see people go out of business but you know yeah. what you got to well, change. You have if, to change. If they liquidate, that means everything must go, which means lots of sales, which means stock up on Marvel Legends there when they're really Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got one Toys R Us left, and we were supposed to have a new one opening in the new mall in Staten Island. Now, I don't know. Mm, not anymore. And they, they, they went back to Times Square, but a different location secretly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Get, uh, Time to take Joffrey the Giraffe behind the woodshed. God. <laughs> Done! Toys R Us done. I can't believe this. Time is changing. Why don't they just sell FAO Schwartz and KB Toys for millions? <laughs> why are they holding on to all this stuff? They're saying that somebody could just buy them. First of all, who the hell is going to spend billions of dollars? They're damaged, they're damaged goods. Without a damn plan. You could just make your own company and start from scratch. Why spend $5 billion or 7 or $10 billion to, to buy Toys R Us when it's all crap now. Just re make your own. Somebody make their own Toys R Us 
to make their own toy franchise then or something. I mean, this is ridiculous. All these companies are done. Mm -hmm. And then from the ashes, something new is born or yes. something pre-existing like Walmart and Target. So you know what? I mean, in the past, I'd be like, oh, you know, but I work for that company too. And they weren't really, I'm not going to really mention on here. But you know what? Honestly, I wouldn't want to see them go. But if they're going to go, they're going to go. That's it. I haven't been there regularly. So that's reality for you. Um, unfortunately, Time things change. Changing, yeah. Listen, things change in a heartbeat, okay? You could wake up tomorrow and your whole world could be upside down or it could be better than ever. And that's mm -hmm. the way life is, mm -hmm. you know? And this is why we go to escape because we're yeah. in our life so much. We, we need movies exactly. and comics and books and video yeah. games and – Sometimes we even need to take social media and tell social media to go F themselves and stay away from that too. Exactly. Because people just get too damn serious. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, I, I was having a conversation with somebody on, on text, and that's another thing. People don't get text messages. Like back mm -hmm. in the day, you would call somebody, right? Yeah. People misconstrue. Your text message, and then next thing you know, it's an all-out battle for no reason. Yeah, and it's and like I think yeah. that's the problem with all the technology and stuff um, because we get more from interpersonal communications than ever. I mean, people could be dicks and stuff now easier because they can hide behind a machine, right? Instead of talking and even with you know the simple because I had the privilege of be in a world where it, we didn't have that stuff. We had to literally write out everything we need to do and send it through the mail. Yeah. Now, you, it's no proactiveness. You don't have to talk to nobody. If you don't want to, you have the phone. You have the, you have the, um, the uh, tablets. The, that's the thing. Technology is taking over so much that nobody is willing to go to the distant mile of seeing a person or actually having that one-on-one -on -one conversation, like physically seeing it. Yes. And that's how it's going with the, the um, but that's affecting how we shop too, because you can go through a machine now and get almost every damn thing you want. I got to tell you, sometimes I turn it off. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? Things are, I mean, the amount of time we spend on our phones mm -hmm. a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, Sometimes I look forward to the good old fashioned phone call. Yeah. How you doing? Because I, I mean, and then when I start to see that people think you're, because the, the, the I mean, how do you get from text messages if someone's mad at you or something like, they, yeah. like you think your emotions, like you're being a dick, or you're being mm -hmm. this from the way, I mean, it's not like the letters look differently. Like the letter the, it's not mm -hmm. like it's like mean, you know, like I don't understand. So like, then I just like you know, I gotta go because you can't when when people just their mind made up. You can't like it's it's pointless Why? to just talk to a person if they you know they're gonna fight with you for no reason thinking that you're from a message. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm like that's the end of the messages for the rest of the damn day. You know, same thing yeah. like if I'm, an, I'm you know I'll get in the mood and I'm like yeah you know what I need to put away the internet. I need to not mm -hmm. do cast tonight. I need to not do Facebook tonight. No Twitter. No Tumblr. No Google Plus. No friggin' Twitch. No none of all these things. Because it's too much sometimes, too much. And that's I why a lot of times I take all my phones because mm -hmm. there's been plenty of times I'm trying to go to sleep. And there's some people that are friends, mind you too, and they don't get, we have different time zones. Or there's some people that are just not friends and they're just annoying. And, you know, they'll, they'll be commenting, commenting, commenting. And I have to take all my phones, shut it off. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it in the room because I can't, you know, you need to take a break from it. Yeah. I, I think we also we are missing a lot of stuff because everybody this is a movie theaters too be on their phone. Oh, I hate that doing the movies yeah. and also you missing stuff that's around you. Yes, and it could be. I mean, it it's becoming dangerous now to even you know because you miss so much stuff. You get in accidents. You do this and that. Yes, I mean back in the day we didn't have this problem. Everybody actually saw stuff and it interact proactively with different things. Now everybody's becoming isolated. You could have a family member that walks by you and you be on your phone. And you have no yeah, clue. Exactly. And same thing with that family member. 
Mm-hmm. And pass each other. Yeah. Because your head's so deep, and that's why I try to cut it off. I'm like, nah, yeah, done with it, you know? I, I, I like the times when we didn't have that stuff. Yeah. I liked, like, interacting with the comic books and sending the letter in and waiting 30 or 60 days for my stuff to be published or someone to respond to me. Or I mean, I had that. I mean, yeah, now it's easy, but, you know, there's a now it's a basically impossible for someone to not reach you, but then people – Use the excuse, oh, I never got the – because they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to have it sometimes. Sometimes you don't want to be bothered on all these different things. You know? Mm-hmm. I come home, I want to eat. That's the first yeah. thing. I come home, I want to eat. I want to, like, you know, a few minutes, mm-hmm. get myself together, put on my pajamas or put on my, you know, regular house clothes, relax, you know, mm-hmm. my work clothes, and then I'll do cast. But I, I, I can't just come in the house right to the cast. Yeah. I need to relax. I need to do things, you know? Mm-hmm. And and you know that's we got a technology we need to like you can take a break from it sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? Some people just can't even get technology like Toys R Us. Like mm-hmm. I don't really think they're up with technology. I mean, you're selling these things that are probably twenty years old. Like they had, they have like a, a high tech department. It's like the oldest crap in existence. Mm, I right. think so. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's like, dude, get a clue. You know? I don't know. I just. I, these people won't get it, and then they're out. Mm-hmm. And that goes, listen, also, too, because people get – the way things are, are, people cannot handle anything this day and age. Stress, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's like you could lose your job tomorrow. Yeah. And you got to, you know, you got to deal with it. You got to, like, get something else. You got to, you know, it's just crazy. A lot of stuff happening. This day and age. No company is safe, really. Retail. No. It could be the strongest company in existence, and it'll be done tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's always been that way. So, you know, there you go. You could have a franchise like Star Wars, and they could screw up so badly that nobody sees Star Wars movies anymore. Mm-hmm. It could happen. Anything could happen. So, that's the world we're in. And that's enough reality for one day. Right, Sally? <laughs> well, we don't do topic wonders after times. Damn it! <laughs> Let's go back to being in our blue box. All right. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now. Bye.